So recently I saw a study that absolutely shocked me. So there's a SEO company that did a survey of 100 business leaders in Toronto. And what they found out was astonishing. Here are the facts. 44% of these business leaders had never heard of SEO before. To me, that just doesn't make any sense, especially in 2024. But it gets even worse. 71% of the business leaders that did know about SEO weren't using it. 54% of the respondents have never used an SEO agency before, and only 29% of the respondents said that they would do SEO on their own. So for me, this is just an opportunity that's being wasted by a lot of business leaders here in my city of Toronto. But I'm sure that this is probably throughout the country, throughout the continent, into the US as well. You know, Toronto is one of the largest cities in North America. And the fact that, you know, 44% just don't even know what SEO is, is mind boggling to me. So in this video, what I want to do is kind of give a refresher on what SEO is, what it does, how it can help your business and how it's changed since it started and where it is right now in 2024. First things first, what is SEO? And SEO stands for search engine optimization. And really what it is, it's a strategy and process that helps put your website higher in the search ranking results pages or the SERPs of the major search engines. Now this is Google, Bing, or some of the smaller search engines as well. For this case, we're gonna just use Google as the example for a search engine because let's face facts, Google's the biggest and the most used. So what SEO entails is making your website known to Google. Remember, Google is the middleman between you and your customers. Google's customers are hopefully going to be your customers. So what Google wants to do is make sure that they're giving their customers the best experience. Therefore, they're making sure that anybody who they will rank high is going to be following their rules. So how does Google decide which business is going to rank first or at least rank on the first page or rank higher than any of the other ones. So there are three things that Google does. Crawling, indexing, and ranking. Crawling basically just crawls the internet and finds and discovers all this content online for a specific search term. Indexing then analyzes and stores that website content in the search engine's index. And finally, ranking will then serve that content in a form that is easy to be shown to the user that is based on relevancy and other criteria. So basically what you're doing when you're doing search engine optimization is you are optimizing your website, you are optimizing your content so that Google will be able to crawl it, to index it, and then to rank it based on certain search terms that you want to be ranking for. Now, SEO is organic traffic, and I'm sure you've heard things like paid traffic or SEM or PPC. So SEM is search engine marketing, PPC stands for pay-per-click. So you've seen online when you do a search, you'll see the sponsored ads that come on top. That is pay-per-click advertising. What you're doing there is something completely different than SEO. It is something that you, it's going to cost you a lot more money. It will get you quicker results, but it is not SEO. I do have another video on SEM that you can see up here, but for this, video we're going to only talk about organic search search engine optimization because that leads to better customers to more sustainable growth and to better results in the long term so if you're a business and you don't know what search engine optimization or seo is it is basically making sure that your website gets noticed by google and then gets ranked by Google for the search terms that your customers are going to be looking for. If you're a lawn care company and you offer grass cutting in the summer, you want to make sure that you show up for grass cutting in a community near you right on the first page. So you can see that this kind of marketing initiative, SEO is marketing by the way, 
is so important to any business getting their name out there. It is something that can be done on your own if you have the wherewithal and the time and the effort to do it or you can hire an agency to do it for you it depends on your level of expertise the one key that i always like to explain to my customers and to anybody else who's even dipping their toes in the seo waters it is not something that happens overnight i'm going to repeat that seo is not an overnight solution for your business. SEO is, is the same thing as, for example, just putting up a sign on your store, basically saying that you're open. Just because you put a sign up saying that you're open doesn't mean you're gonna be flooded with customers the next day. People are gonna walk by, they're gonna see the open sign and they're gonna walk in, they're gonna browse, maybe they're gonna leave. Other times people are gonna walk right by it. But what happens is as people know that you're open, they will then start getting into a habit of seeing you on a regular basis. If you're doing SEO to start, there's things that you need to know about. There's three types of SEO. There's the technical side of SEO, there's the on-page SEO work, and then there's the off-page SEO work. The technical side is making sure that your website is optimized properly, that there's a good user experience, that your website loads properly, that your images are compressed properly and are showing up okay that it is responsive that means it shows up on any screen size whether it's a desktop or a mobile phone you know and then the on-site SEO work is optimizing the content for your users now this is where I'm going to get into how things have changed with regards to SEO from when SEO kind of first started to now where SEO is a lot different than it used to be so on-site SEO has to deal with your content optimizing your content for your users now in the past seo used to be done or at least the content used to be done towards optimizing for the search engines that has changed over the past couple of years google had something called the helpful content update so they want to make sure that any content that a website is producing is geared towards the user like i said at the beginning of this video google's customers are the people searching so they want to give their customers the best results so if somebody's searching for lawn care near me they want to make sure that they're putting out the best results for lawn care near me for their users so in the past there's something called keyword stuffing which is called black hat seo which is considered you know not cool keyword stuffing for the lawn care example would say you know we're a company that does lawn care in toronto toronto lawn care is important because having the best lawn care in toronto is key for anybody who wants to have the best lawn care in toronto so obviously that kind of content might have all the keywords that that company wants to rank for but it's not very helpful to the user so that's all changed now whenever you're producing content it has to be helpful for the user. Another thing that's changed has been how content is presented. So Google is the number one search engine in the world. Number two is YouTube. So creating multimedia and doing videos and other presentations just like this is key to helping you rank on Google. So in the past, when you're creating content, maybe it was just a blog post, maybe it was just a static page or some kind of article, but now you need to augment that with video like this you also need to make sure that your social media is up to date and active as well because that's starting to show up on the search engine results pages and that social media aspect of seo that's the you know the off page seo work that you would be doing so you would be doing stuff for your socials you'll be doing brand building you do omni channel marketing so for example you might have a radio spot you might have a, a billboard or a tv ad as well but those three the technical the on page and the off page are very important and all-encompassing to a successful SEO plan for your business so really just to summarize this and, and this goes back to that study where 44% of businesses didn't even know what SEO was if you have a website and you're not doing any SEO for it you are basically having a business card that is stuck in your pocket and you are not giving it to anybody that's the simplest way i can say it you've built something but nobody is ever going to see it maybe except for a few people that 
you know, know your website or existing customers, but you know, let's face facts. If you want to grow your business, you have to get more people to know who you are and doing SEO in any form, whether it's through social, through video, through the multi-channel way, making sure that your website is optimized properly so that it's loading up on every screen possible, making sure that you're doing local search. That's a whole other story as how Google local has changed the landscape of SEO as well. I'll do a video about that coming up. It is ultra important for anybody who is running a business to have some kind of SEO strategy, whether it's with an agency or in-house. So remember to like this video, please, and hit that subscribe button below. Hit the notification bell so that way you're updated to any new videos that we post on a regular basis. Like this video here. This video here has some great tips on search engine optimization and content marketing. You don't want to miss it.